championship fight between Tom Breeze and Bruce Lee. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Three years apart, with big differences in height, but a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's a disgrace. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, two losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tom Green. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, so here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the T-Mobile Arena. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that in all cool night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon. This is one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silva. But the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand amongst them tonight. You get to make your mark on this great arena. Punch by Breeze. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by his gun. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. 
Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Big leg kick lands. Right hook to the head block. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Nice punch lands. Oh, collar tie. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head, potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head, he's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. He's got to be careful dipping his head and throwing that jab. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired results. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Left hand punch from the clinch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Back and forth we go! Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Breeze. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And they separate. Liver kick. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Round two is next. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fight. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good ones. And it's not always going to be. We can have two very talented. Oh, there is it lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with the head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Head kick there, blocked by Lee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight. You just know how to fight behind your jab. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. He's got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Ooh. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, oh, oh. Finish could come at any time. Oh, big left hook there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Single collar tie there. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, getting his striking rhythm. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the right moment. He deserves this moment. Good finish this fight. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, 
single collar tie here. Nice. Nice. Right hand upstairs. Got the single collar tie. Big kick land. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And he landed the right hand there. Back to the jab now, no good. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Serve him up. Go get him. How about those five minutes? All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. That was awesome. Really hurt him there, okay? He's in trouble. There's no way he's gonna recover. I need you to get out there, and I want you. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens. Two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates distance and space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Lee gets up. He is back on the feet here. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition. The best head kicks you'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Caught that kick there. And there comes the separation now. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Side control now. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom. Oh, you got to watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, oh, he might have got him with a choke. of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon.
So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 23 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tom Lee. And still the baddest man on the planet, and now with another highlight for the real, the heavyweight champion submits the number one contender here tonight, and now celebrates with his corner after just